and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here hi i am miscellaneous mabel and i'm going to tell you guys today the story about my achilles tendon rupture not snap well completely snapped off rupture so i found my notes i remember i wrote notes after it happened and um kind of my timeline because when i went and looked on um youtube for information about achilles tendon healing and all of that i couldn't find really very detailed stuff um so and like first hand experience um i found this one guy who did it while playing i think tennis or squash or something like that um but he had the surgical repair so it's different to mine so yeah i just thought i'll do my own little video since i actually went through this i'm still going through it and it's been two years um so yeah let's get into it so what is an Achilles tendon rupture? It is the part behind your ankle. Uh, there's a big tendon. I will see if I can post somewhere a photo to show you um, where it is exactly. But if you Google Achilles uh, tendon, it will show you. So what happened was I was at the gym with my personal sister, a personal, <laughs> personal trainer. Um, we were doing boxing and we've moved into kickboxing. So... It was really nice. I miss kickboxing so much. It's probably been my favorite training. Um, but I was feeling like exceptionally well at that time. Um, feeling really good, really positive. Uh, I do have to mention that we were in calving at that time as well. I'm a, as you know, I'm a dairy farmer. We were busy with calving at that time. So a lot of stress, a lot of work, a lot of tired. But I kept my um, routine of once a week having my, 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 pers my personal um sessions with um the trainer and i think that was on a thursday thursday night so this i think this happened on a thursday night anyway um i was on the treadmill for 30 minutes prior to our se session um like i said i was feeling good i was reading book i was getting fit i was losing weight it was so good and so we started our training and about i think it was a half an hour into our training um we i was like doing jabs as well as stepping in kicking and then stepping back um and i just like i wasn't tired i didn't feel any pain i didn't nothing was wrong like i was so enjoying the session and he told me like step like he, he was directing me how to step and, and go and kick and step and i could see he's like he was looking at my foot like i was stepping out and as i was realizing he was doing that i stepped back and as when I stepped back, I just heard something pop. It felt like, and honestly, it felt like, you know, if you drop, um, you know, those those weight poles, those uh, that you use your bench pressing, presses for and squats for, those poles, those heavy ones. Um, if you can imagine that dropping, like falling to the ground, um, that's the type of noise it made. And it, I thought like, oh shit, somebody dropped it on my leg. And so I, I looked around, I looked at my leg and I'm like, what the hell? Because I was near the wall. Um, and there's nothing there and I was like and everybody that was in the room just stopped and stared at me and the one girl was like oh, did you just rupture your Achilles and I'm like no no and I tried to step and I couldn't I didn't feel anything so I just went I was like oh shit oh shit and I just went down and they helped me sit down and then uh, we had a look and he's like yeah no you've you've um that's your Achilles like you've ruptured your Achilles and it sounded like I can almost say like a gunshot kind of like that that pop um no pain didn't feel anything, but only the initial pop. Um, other than that, I didn't feel any pain, nothing. I start crying, of course, because hello, it is a bit of a um, emotional thing because you don't know what's going on. Plus, we're in carving. Plus, I work for family, so I know this is really going to screw up everybody and it's going to really be upsetting to everybody. Um, I think I was more crying because I was so scared um, of, like the uh, retaliation and like upsetness from um at the time uh, a family member's partner um but luckily it did not end up like that uh, my family is extremely supportive and when it happened like my family member was right like straight there took me into ed um and i was really happy like because i was so worried and so <laughs> oh the amount of stress but anyway uh, let's get back to this so I went to the ED. This was nighttime around six, seven o'clock. No, it was later than that. It was later because they were doing shift change. We ended up waiting a long time in the ED as you normally do. Um, but when we got in, the guy came and he like touched my leg, pushing on it and everything. And he's like, oh, yeah, no, let me just get this sonar. So I did a swipe. He's like, oh, yep, no, that's completely snapped. 
all right, get her into a cast. What color do you want to cast? And I'm like, what the hell? It was so nonchalant about it. And um, they're like, okay, you're going to be in a... So, so the nurse comes in, comes in. She puts on... The, the doctor disappears. Like, I'm not really fond of ED doctors because they just literally... And I understand why, but they just come in, diagnose, and then they just bugger off again. Like, I prefer the nurses because they're a lot nicer. Um, plus, he didn't tell me anything about my recovery. Nothing. I, he just uh, diagnosed and then he ran off. Um, so, yeah, the nurse came in. She did my cast. I had to, like... I had to, like just underneath the knee or is it above the knee no it was underneath the knee it was underneath the knee uh red cast if i can find my photo because i do have a photo somewhere i will um put it in um at the end of the video uh, and so or somewhere i'll put the photo in um because at that moment at that time i did not really think about it but at the time i actually had red hair and when i'm talking red hair i'm talking vibrant red hair i will add in a photo as well but that was the luck I was going for. So it was, it was a bad decision on my part, like red and red. Mm. Even though red's still my favorite color. So, yeah. Uh, went home, was set to be on crutches uh, for f six weeks? Four weeks? Four weeks? Oh, somewhere in the notes it will be. Um, but anyway, so I was set to be on crutches for that. And then uh, in the cast, no weight. You are not allowed to put a single weight on your foot like not even stand on your toes even though at the in at the end like almost two week four i did start putting like weight on my toes because i couldn't just stand anymore like my arms were so sore um so yeah you are booked off from work uh for four weeks plus because cast you know you can't work um in my type of industry so there was my um carving season was over which sucked because i was too icy um it really really sucked I was like I wouldn't wish that on anybody who's in our line of work um to miss out on carving because carving is your most detrimental time of the year anyway so yeah 20th of August 2020 that's when my accident happened um on the 21th of September so yeah that's about a, a month later um I had my first doctor appointment my cast came off and I was put in a moon boot on 30 degrees and I was still on my crutches. Still was not allowed to put weight on my foot, but uh, that was the first session. So at this appointment, um, the doctor literally had the cast cut off. He looked at my leg, twisted from side to side, felt a bit, but I do feel like they should have done an MRI to make sure that the, um, the attendant connected properly and there wasn't any scarring or everything was still like actually okay. But that did not happen, which is, um, I only th thought about this afterwards, like now. But anyway, so on the 5th of October, um, I had my second doctor's appointment. Um, so, yeah, less than a month. Um, the moon boot was changed to 15 degrees and still on crutches. Yeah. At this time, I kind of started helping my um, my family member on farm um, by like driving with them in the side buggy, doing weed spraying, um, doing dealing with the calves, like doing doing um, drenching and stuff with the calves, like putting in the numbers. Basically, jobs where I sit, um, just because like I wanted to help. <laughs> um, on the nineteenth of October, I had my third doctor's appointment. Um, the moon wind was changed to zero degrees, still on crutches, but can weight bear. So this was cool. Even though if you ever had those moon boots, it's really weird to walk with. Yeah. Um, on the 2nd of November, 2020, they removed the moon boots, no more crutches. Um, and I have to put in heel lifters in my shoes. Um, and I'm only allowed to gym my upper body only allowed to gym my upper body in the gym I was really happy to get back into the gym um, even with my moon boot I was in the gym but like just doing upper body stuff and yes this was a there was a good system moon boots re, um, removed but because your tendon has snapped you are very restricted in your movement and walking like you still walk with a limp and your tendon you, you kind of need to start heel lifts and stretching so you get referred to a physio so on the 13th of November, I was started my physio. My mistake, I did not go to a proper physio. I went to like a more of a natural path physio. Um, so that's kind of my mistake. I think if I went to a, um, a more proper physio, even though the guy I went to is qualified as a physio, I just, I feel like I went to the wrong person. 
um, which my mistake, but um, it did delay my healing process a lot. So please go to a real physio, like a proper physio. So, okay, so I started physio on the 13th of November. I'm still using heel lifts. Uh, by the way, I'm still using the heel lifts till this day. This is 2023, year 2023. Still using heel lifts. Um, and here is where I started cycling because in this time period of when my Achilles snapped, I gained over 20 kilos because you can't do anything. Like you can't do any exercising. Plus, I'm not really good with diet. I'm not really good with preparing my food. I usually go for the fastest thing. And I was living by myself. Um, I did start dating my husband around this time, but he was also not living with me. So, yeah. On to the second page. Um, so we skip a few months. Uh, so the 2nd of January, 2021, re I removed the heel lifts because by the doctor's recommendation it was a few weeks that I had to wear them. Meanwhile, you're supposed to wear them for like a long time afterwards. Yeah. I was told to keep an eye on my heels, see how it's going, see, see how my tendon's going. Um, and from here on, I was just, I was still in pain. Like my pain actually started after the moon boot came off. That's when the pain started and the pain's never left. <laughs> You'll figure out now why. And then the 20th of January it was five months since the tear. Um, yeah, still very painful. Um, I was starting to gym then with my legs a bit more, still into cycling and doing a bit more cardio, trying to lose weight. Um, and then the, the 20th of February, a month later, six months post, um, and that's where I was told I can start running and jumping, um, but it still hurt. It was uncomfortable. Um, I was told to do more heel lifts and, um, stretching out my, my calves, getting that back into, um, order. Then the 20th of April, um, I was told I can go back to normal activities, which I've never gone back to normal activities. Um, and like I say, this is the 20th of April, 2021. We are January, 2023, and I've never been able to go back to normal um, activities. And one, that's because I actually have a tear in my Achilles tendon again. Um, I don't know if it's actually, there was, there was, there's always been a tear since it, it never healed properly because my Achilles snapped completely. So this might, might've been a second tear or this could be a tear that happened afterwards. And I'll explain that why. So um, I've never been without pain in my leg. Um, days wise, yes, for a few days, yes. But the same pain always comes back and it's this burning, burning pain at the back of my heel. Um, you know, that little point that's there, like where your, he your heel is here and then it goes up that little back part there that always heal that always hurts when i'm wearing shoes if i'm not wearing my heel lifts in my, sh in my gum boots um if i'm walking if i go hiking it always burned it was really uncomfortable so in 2021 i went back to the physio for a few months a uh, different physio it, that helped a lot and then 2022 last year um i went back again because the pain started again um I, I did shockwave ferrotherapy on my Achilles, which helped a ton. The pain actually went away. And then I went for my wedding to South Africa um, last year, September. And coming back, um, coming back, like on our flight back, my Achilles started hurting a lot, uh, like a lot, a lot again. And so I went back to physio for, for a few months and I told her something's not right. I told her like in the beginning of 2021 or middle of 2021, I went on a hike with a friend, very easy hike. Um, and on my way down again, my heel started burning a lot and it would get better if I stepped in cold water, but it would start burning a lot. And I was like, this is the same feeling, um, but it's very painful. So we tried shock birth wave therapy for the second time, but I couldn't handle it. It was just too painful. It was a no-go. I told her, I think there is something wrong here. It's not just a normal strain. It's not um, inflammation because that's what we originally thought it was inflammation. So I got medicine for that. I spoke to my doctor and she's like, oh, well, where's your scans? And she looked on my record and was like, well, there's no scans. There was never any scans done. And she's like, well, that's very odd. And I was like, no, we'll book you in for x-rays and for scans straight away. So I got booked in um, and they identified that I have a 
0 0.9 millimeter in like length uh, tear in my Achilles by 0 0.4 wide um, tear in my Achilles. Physio says it's not to be worried about too much. It's there, it's painful, but the, the, the chances of my Achilles snapping again is not really high. Um, so I've stopped physio because they can't do anything to help me. Um, I'm going to see a specialist next week. The same guy, actually the same doctor um, who took off my, moon, my, my cast and my moon boots, the same guy I'm going back to. Um, I found out, so I don't think he'll remember me, but um, they've recommended I get an MRI, um, and then we'll go there from there to see what they can do for me um, pain-wise, if I'm going to have to have surgery again, um, if they're going to repair it surgery, surgery, surgically, which I think they are going to have to, because I've been walking with this tear for over a year, uh, and it is so painful, like it's just getting worse and worse and worse, um, like today I walked around uh, I got a tattoo and I got I walked around and it just started burning like for no reason like oh I, I was walking around but um, not strenuous not up and down just plain walking and it started hurting. It's very uncomfortable. It is very painful right now. Um, I do not recommend this zero out of ten for anybody to this to happen to. Um, it's really a weird because I've never broken a bone in my body. The only stitches I've ever had was for my wisdom teeth removed. And here I go and I snap my Achilles. Like, that's very, like, pfft, okay. Out of all the injuries, out of all the injuries, out of all the gym injuries you can get, I get a snapped Achilles. Yeah. Figure. But, um, yeah, it's been horrible. <laughs> and, like, it's really been shit. Um, for one, I was off work for a super long time and then... When I got back to work, I felt super guilty because I worked for family. Um, so I forced myself, like, as soon as the doctor said, oh, you can go back to work with light duties. What do, what do I do? I go back to work and start milking. Now, our milkings were about four hours when you're on your feet, walking up and down because it's a herringbone. Um, and I did both milkings every day. I had off in the, in the morning. Uh, after milking, I was off till the afternoon when I had to milk. I was stupid. Like, I was really stupid in doing that because I think that damaged my Achilles. That might have damaged my Achilles more. Um, even though the doctor cleared it, the doctor said I could do milkings. It's just light duties. Uh, I'm not running around. Um, but I honestly thought that was really stupid of me doing that in the first place. So that was not 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 good. Um, I did go back to work too quickly. I've had a few people tell me that I should have been off work for longer. Um, and when I went back, when I went back, I should have done like minimum an hour of two hours and then sit out, rest and then back, you know, take it a lot lighter. But in dairy farming, you can't really do that. So, yeah. Um, I, if I, if, the, if they do need to do surgery and I have to set out, I will, I will be taking my time with recovery, um, purely because I really do not wish this to any, anyone. Um, it's impacted me more than I can actually explain to you guys. Like weight wise, it's hold me back. I can't go on hikings. I can't lose, like I can lose weight by eating right and still going to the gym. Like honestly, I can. But the things that I want to do, it's restricting me a lot because I'm constantly worried that it's going to snap again. Like I would love to get back into kickboxing with my with my uh, my personal trainer. Like I would love to because it was really the greatest thing for me. Um, I would love to do that, but I'm so terrified it's gonna snap again. It's a lot of mental thing. Like snapping your Achilles has a, has a huge impact on you mentally as well. And well, one that two I can't go on hikes at all anymore. Like there's no bloody way I I can do a hike anymore. Um, and that sucks because my husband and his family are all hikers and they all like, they want to take me out on the hike. I can't go. It's too painful. Um, and then, well, three, uh, walking in general, like uh, on farm, sometimes I can't even put up my fences. I have to do my fences with my bike, um, because it's just too painful. Like on our farm, we've got a rule, like you do fences by walking. So you hook your reel and then you walk over to the other side, get your reel nice and tight, put the power on, you walk back and you put in your standards, nice and tight reels. It looks good. Some days I can't even do that because it just hurts too much walking. So it really impacts every facet of my life. I wake up in the morning, I step off my bed, it hurts. I walk with a limp most of the time. 
if I lay down, it starts hurting. Um, so it just, I don't want to sound like I'm just complaining because I, I've, I've learned a lot from this injury and, um, I've learned a lot about myself from this injury. I've like, I'm trying to bring more awareness to this. So hopefully this video does well and it actually gets out there and there's more awareness around it, but I really do not recommend it uh, at all. <laughs> um, if this should happen to you, I would say get it surg surgically um, recovered. Do not let them tell you, hey, we'll put you in a cast and um, you'll be fine in this amount of time, blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. Ask them you want it surgically repaired. Recovery is a lot faster, apparently, and it's much more secure. The doctor actually sees what's going on there. There's no guessing. Um, and yeah, that would be my biggest recommendation. If you snap your Achilles... Ask for it to be surgically repaired. Okay? It's a good idea. If this happens to me again, surgically repaired. If I have to go to another doctor, another hospital, an hour or two away, I will, my husband will drive me. <laughs> Basically, he will drive me. Um, I'm not going through this again the natural way because it sucked. And it's still sucking right now. Like, we're going on two years, past two years now. And I'm still struggling. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and my sarcasm worth it. Um, ooh. I am going to go now. I'm going to go ice it because it actually hurts <laughs> right now as I'm sitting here. And yeah, if you've got any more questions about it, um, please leave it down in the comments below. And if you're still here, your tendon actually gets harder. Um, well, it feels harder and it gets like thicker. So there's a clear there's a clear difference between my right side and my left side Achilles. Like my left side's a little bit thicker and that's always going to be there forever. Like there's no, yeah. So yeah, if you waited till this time of the video, there's your, there's a sneaky thing for you to know. So this is the Achilles I'm talking about. As you can see it's a bit thicker there and swollen at the moment. It's been like that for, yeah, two years. Now let's look at the other one. Sorry, I'm by myself, so I can't really show you, but there you can see that one's more defined. Um, I really can't show you together. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys can see that. It sucks. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Um, please like, subscribe, comment. I love hearing from you guys, and I like seeing this page grow. Have a good one. Bye.